it's back to school time, but it's different this year for many of us. I know for our house, it's definitely gonna be different than the traditional back to school. We are doing a distance learning. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my best distance learning hacks to help things go a little bit smoother. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. A couple months ago, we were doing distance learning. I think a lot of people were doing distance learning. So the end of last school year, we stopped doing school, stopped going every day and started learning at home. And during that time, I learned a few things and I wanted to give you my best distance learning hacks to make things go a little bit smoother for you. If you're new to the Purple Alphabet, I would love it if you were to join the Purple Alphabet family. We do educational activities for kids, ideas and inspirations to learn through play, a little bit of shop with me's and hauls, and of course, giveaways too. Make sure to say hi, especially if you're new down below in the comments, I love hearing from you. Before I get into my hacks, I wanna kind of explain what the difference is between homeschooling and distance learning. I kind of use them interchangeably because I do a little bit of both. Homeschooling is basically when you get to decide your curriculum for your children. You go through all of the websites, all the materials out there, and you design and develop a curriculum and you are your child's primary teacher. Distance learning, on the other hand, is when your child will log on virtually and and do learning with a teacher who is in a different location. For us, we're doing distance learning, but I'm also supplementing and doing a little bit on my own, so I kind of have a combo, but for today's video, we're gonna be talking strictly about distance learning hacks. If you've been watching the Purple Alphabet for a while, you've probably already seen my first day of homeschooling, my homeschooling routine in previous videos. I'm gonna put them up here in the corner so you can go back and check them out after you watch this video. I'll probably put them down below in the description box too so you can go see what it was like for us then. This year, we haven't started yet, but we will be starting in a couple weeks, but I'm taking everything I learned from there and applying it to now because I think I learned a few tricks along the way. And because last time I thought it was just temporary, I think this one might be a little bit more long-term. So my first distance learning hack for you is to set a designated space. At the end of the school year last year, we kind of used what we had. We had a little table that we used. We also used our dining room table. Sometimes we used our kitchen table. Sometimes we used the floor. My hack for you is to set aside a space that's designated for learning so that your child will know where to go and will have kind of a routine into their day. I'm actually thinking about doing a distance learning homeschool room, what our setup tour is. If you're interested in seeing a video like that, let me know down below and maybe I'll, I'll put one together if there's enough people interested. I think the best thing about this hack is just knowing that you have a space to go to, a place for you to sit, a place where all your things are, and it's just there for you when you wake up in the morning and you can wake up, eat your breakfast, and get ready to learn. Number two is to have a caddy with all of your supplies readily available. I've showed you this one before in the past. It's a little box, has stickers all over it now, that we got at Michael's. It has three little compartments of different heights to store different things in. I have crayons here on the top, I have pencils and pens, erasers, pencil sharpener in the middle, and I have markers down here at the bottom. I do like it because it's clear and you can see inside what you have and there's a little handle so you can kind of take it anywhere you want. But I will have to say the closures here on the sides aren't my favorite. So if you have a really good organizational caddy that you love or a system, I probably wanna know about that too. But this is what we've been using and it works and it's also portable, although I feel like there's something out there better. I have shown you a whole bunch of things from the Target Dollar section, also from Dollar Tree that have tons of organizational things that you can use to store all of your supplies in. But this hack is to keep these things all together in one place so when you need them, they're there for you and they're close by to your workspace. Hack number three is to set up a digital file for your schedule. Now, if your teacher hasn't done this for you, I really encourage you to do one of your own. Our teachers, some of them did this, some of them didn't, but the ones who did, I found it really helpful. So we basically have the schedule of the day or the morning of all the learning times. We're gonna have the time, the class, and what materials are needed. Now, if you're doing an online class, this becomes very important, and this is probably one of my biggest tips for you in this hacks video, is to make a hyperlink or a clickable link within your document that your child can click on to access their class or their Zoom call. You can do this in any word processing document. You just highlight it and add the link to go directly to it. Keep this document up on your desktop so that your kids can go right to it and click on it and access it themselves. Another pro tip on this one is to include any passwords that you might need and then any logins to your computer. And I would also recommend teaching your kids before the first day of school how to do all of the logins, do a trial run, just to make sure they have it down. And if you wanna go that extra mile, I also encourage you to print this out so that's 
that's also right there beside them in case they can't find it on the computer screen themselves. This is an excellent hack and will save you tons of time, especially if you have multiple kids that you're watching throughout the school day. Just being able for them to access them themselves and to go directly into the class where they need to be, enter their password, and they're gonna be good to go. Hack number four is to set your computer up with alarms. So if you know you're gonna be on a Zoom call at 10 a.m., go ahead and set an alarm in your phone, maybe five minutes beforehand so that they can be forewarned that a class is coming. For us last year, we had Zoom classes kind of throughout the day at different times. And so an alarm was a great tool to use to set that to know that a class was coming so we didn't get involved in something else or maybe we were outside playing and we were able to keep track of time and make sure that we were on class on time. So set an alarm, if you can do it on your computer, you can do it on your phone, you can even set an egg timer if you want to, if you know it's gonna be coming soon. But the ones on the computer are great because you can set them up for every single day and change them when you need to. Now we're on to hack number five and this one I think is a really great one that I learned from one of our teachers this year and that is to take a typing class. And not only that, I have a free one for you that was given to us by our teacher too. So if you go to typingclub.com, they have a whole website of free typing lessons. And so this becomes really crucial, especially if you have children who are going to be typing responses into their online classes, or maybe even doing online homework. This will teach you the basics of typing properly, and I'll run you through a whole bunch of exercises right there on the website. I'm gonna put a link to it down below so you can go right to it. I don't get any Anything from it, but I just thought it was a fabulous resource that you could try. If we're gonna do this, I'd highly recommend doing it before you start classes because you're gonna learn a ton. It's helping you to recognize where the letters are on the keyboard, all those special symbols using the shift key, space bar, going backspace, and all that kind of good stuff that you need to know if you're gonna be doing online classes. Distance learning hack number six is to be flexible on where you learn. Now for us, our teachers are recommending that we're at a desk down and they don't want us laying on a bed or laying on a couch. So it kind of limits our options. However, you can also be sitting down at a table at a desk. We have several different tables here in our house. Maybe it's a table outdoors. Being flexible on where you're doing that distance learning class is gonna make it far more comfortable for your child and give them some options and more excited to learn too. So be flexible, move things around, change up the environment just to keep it fresh. One of my favorite hacks, and I think this is a really great one, is to have an activity kit ready for when there is a lull in the learning, especially if you have multiple kids. So what you can do is set up an activity kit. I've shown you many of these before in past videos. I'll, I'll link one up there for you to check out, but it's putting together some items, even learning-based items that might be applicable to their schoolwork with a list or materials to do further learning while maybe they are done with the class and don't know what to do. Say, for example, you you're working with one child and you're working side by side and the other child finishes early and they're just sitting there not knowing what to do. Class has ended, work was done. They can take the activity kit, work on something on there really quick and then wait for you when you are finished to come help them out with something else to do. This prevents them from wandering off, going in another room, getting involved in something else that they shouldn't be and it keeps them really honed in on something that you want them to be working on. If you have a distance learning hack that I need to know about, let me know down below in the comments. I love the ideas you guys share with one another and I like reading what you have to say too. And if you haven't already, you can watch my past homeschooling videos. They're all down below and I have some activity videos too. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.